Hey, welcome into the arena. I want to show you how to teach your horse to turn properly. And this is a two-year-old, Sangria is her name. And I think today is ride number nine. Uh, and she's actually coming along quite well. A proper turn means that the horse is going to turn crossing its front legs, or at the very least, taking that front leg and, and stepping out with it. All right, and so I start by teaching this on the ground a little bit. This is only, I think, the second day I've done this with her using this stick. What I'm going to ask her to do is to step her shoulder away from me, okay? And I'm going to cue her by touching her with the stirrup. Oh, that is not too bad at all, actually. She kind of figured it out. Beautiful, okay? That was really good. That was really good. This horse is really smart and she learns really fast. Let me try it again from the other side. And I didn't even need the stick. If she hadn't moved, then I would have taken the stip, stick and either tapped her here or somewhere else uh, just to get her shoulder moving. So let's ask her to move that shoulder over. I want her to step away like that. Not quite as good. So she kind of stepped forward. So let me reinforce that with the stick here. I'm going to say, no, babe, I want your shoulder going that way. I want it going that way. There. Okay. So I got it that way. Let's try it again. And eventually you should get to where you can actually just walk around and get this horse to just spin in a circle, both from the ground and from the saddle. So step your shoulder over, step over. Good. Let me get a couple steps here. Good. Okay. So if your horse kind of understands this from the ground, then it's a lot easier to get it when you're riding them. Um, and that's what this is about. Let's try it going the other way. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. So it wasn't like a beautiful spin or anything, but she understood the concept. When I touched her here with my stirrup, she understood that I wanted that shoulder to move away. So that tells me she's got the basic idea in her brain already. Now, when you're teaching a horse to turn, well, really, once once they're taught, there are, there's a four-step process here. And I'm going to show them to you one at a time. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me turn where I'm looking right at you here. Come here, babe. Okay. All right. And again, this horse pretty green, but she's also coming along pretty well. I think this is only the second day I've asked her to back up. She figured that out pretty nicely. Okay, so if I'm going to turn to my left, let me give you the four-step process. Step one is look. Step two is lay the outside rein. Step three is outside leg. And then step four is the inside direct rein if you need it. Okay, and we start off, I do a lot of ground driving with my colts, so they understand long before I get on their back, if I pull on the left rein, you go left. All right. So if I did that right here, she would go left, but she probably wouldn't do it properly. She'd probably kind of do what we call a big taxi turn. <laughs> All right. So step one, I'm going to turn my head and look left. Now watch what happens to my shoulders when I do that. For one thing, she can see my head. Her eyes are on the side of her head. She can see my head turn. And also my shoulders turn and then slightly my hip drops. All that when I just look the way I want to go. All right. She didn't respond to it. Now she wanted to walk off just because she wanted to walk off. <laughs> Let me get her back in position here. And one of the things, and I, I'd give a lot of riding lessons, and I'm constantly telling my students, look where you're going to go. Because that gives your horse an understanding. Okay, get her brain back. Okay, so I'm going to look left. I'm going to lay the outside neck rein on her neck. And she went ahead and turned. She didn't do it really well, but she turned off the neck rein. I start doing what I'm showing you here on the second ride. So this is ride number, I think I said nine. So that means she's got seven or eight times I've been working on this. Okay. So I didn't even have to add my outside leg. Let's try it again. Look left, right rein. I'm going to add my leg and get that shoulder to step over. And I've got a spur on. I introduced spurs to her on the last ride. She didn't respond to my spur there. 
Let me try it again. Look left, outside rein, outside leg. I want that shoulder there. I got a pretty nice shoulder move. So I did not have to use the inside rein. Now let's try going the other way. Come around here, so I'm going to look right. Lay the neck rein on her. She kind of turned, but she didn't move her shoulder. And when I added my leg, she moved the shoulder. Beautiful, okay. So every horse needs to be able to turn properly for a variety of reasons. Um, and that's how you teach it. Start off really slowly, and you notice I was pretty slow and methodical. Look, le look right, lay my rein, and that time she moved off just the rein. So this horse is almost learning a neck rein, and she has less than 10 rides. And that's just because I, I'm very methodical. Every time I ask her to turn at any gate, at any speed, I do it the same way. Look, lay the rein, add my outside leg, that, that time I had to use my, my bridle, my inside rein to get her to turn because she was headed toward the gate. She didn't want to turn. <laughs> okay? And that is how you teach your horse to turn properly.